everybody, how's it going? It's Jamie the Crafty DIY Guy. Welcome to my channel. All right, everyone, in today's video, I've got a massive Dollar Tree haul for you today. This one was painful. And I say it was painful in a jokey way, of course, because um, when I say painful, what I mean was painful to the wallet. And um, there's a lot of stuff in here and I'm gearing up for Christmas DIYs. And um, I found a lot of Christmas stuff. And I also found some items that um, are not Christmas items, some like regular, you know, stash items. But then I also found some Halloween items and even some fall items that I was thinking about how you could kind of flip those into some Christmas decor. So I'm going to run through all of this and um, we're going to hopefully have a really good time. Before I jump into that, though, of course, I want to say thank you to my subscribers. You guys know who you are. I appreciate you so much. You've been here for a long time. The OGs that have been with me, the original gang, thank you so, so much for being here, of course. And then everybody that's brand new to the channel. And the channel's been growing a lot lately. So thank you to all of you. Um, I also want to say a special thank you. I received a friend mail gift today from somebody and um, I'm not going to say people's names because I don't like to say people's names on here without their permission but if you sent me this and these goodies then you know who you are. Thank you so much for this. This was actually amazing and what I thought was really cool um, the card that was in there um, this is a piece of wood that um, came from her property and um, I thought that it was really cool and she made this for me and um it's going to go on my tiered tray. So thank you so much for that. And then because um, she knows I love <laughs> this stuff, um, she was able to get me like five packages of it. And um, this is the best stuff in the world. This is what we're going to start the Dollar Tree haul with. You get it at Dollar Tree. I did not buy it at Dollar Tree, but this is... Um, this is the good stuff. This is that tube ribbon that you can get at um, Dollar Tree. And this particular one, like the burlap -y color, is incredible. It's my absolute favorite thing to work with on wreaths and things. You can tie it into bows. You can use it like nautical rope and wrap things with it. There's all kinds of really cool things you can do with this. So, you know who you are. Mwah. Thank you so much for sending me those. Um, I have the big bin. I call it the bin of doom. I know you guys often wonder what I do with my Dollar Tree hauls and I usually put them in a bin like this while I'm talking to you guys. And then as I am um, cleaning up the craft space that I'm kind of putting things away from the bins and that's how I justify whether or not I can go to another Dollar Tree store. All right, very rambly today. So um, there's no real rhyme or reason, unfortunately. This is a big mess. There's probably like 15 bags around me of stuff so um yeah let's just get into it okay <laughs> um hopefully you're sticking around for a while all right the first thing i grabbed was this little cute car now you're maybe thinking why in the heck would you buy a car if you think about like christmas time and like i know for me growing up like it was very like christmas was very like quintessential you know you'd have like a teddy bear and a car and a toy and i was thinking that this could be a fun like thing to put like under the tree even I'm going to have a smaller tree this year, I think. And uh, I want to have one in my office as well. So I, I want to kind of put like presents and different things around it. But I was thinking I could actually paint this. It's plastic. There's no reason why I shouldn't be able to paint it. And uh, I was thinking like, you know, red sports car, black tire, silver. And it's just going to be something that sits. The other thing that I thought that you could do with this too, that I may end up doing as a DIY, is uh, you see a lot of these kind of um, kind of things at like home goods and things like that, but they're spray painted like all metallic color. So they'll be like metallic gold or silver and um, people just use it as a decor piece. And that's actually probably what's gonna end up happening it, with me um, at my house. Cause think about it, even if I spray painted it gold and used it on a bookshelf, it would still look really cute under the Christmas tree as well. So that was the first exciting thing I grabbed. Um, I'm always out of pens. I, I run out of pens all the time. I love these big pens, so I'm going to throw these on the other side of the camera onto my desk, which is right there. This is in my office slash guest room, by the way, of my house. Um, you guys may have seen that project in a DIY. And then this bed is from Ikea. This is a day bed, and I just got it staged with a bunch of pillows here. But um, this I was pretty excited to see at Dollar Tree. I was kind of surprised that um, 
they had these glue guns. And um, this was uh, something that, again, I didn't expect. I don't need this. I have a thing with part with uh, Shorebunder. And uh, I love their glue guns, but you know what? This is kind of a good emergency one in case. And it does take the smaller glue sticks. And, um, you know, I figured why not give it a try? It was a dollar. So if you can find this at your Dollar Tree, definitely look for it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> this is some glass items. And I think these are, yeah, these are just these kind of, simple little candlesticks. I like getting these at my Dollar Tree be when I can find them. And, um, cause I like making different things with them during the holidays. Um, this was the other thing that I did grab. And um, I grabbed, did I grab two of these? Yes, I grabbed two of these. And this is going to be an idea that I'm doing. And um, I'm going to thank Megan from Glue Guns and Roses. She actually did this and um, it looks so good. It's so good. And uh, these are, if I can, they really wrap this one up in paper, which I'm happy for because, you know, sometimes they don't. But, um, all right, let's see here. Put this down. So these are the marble looking bowls. And this marble will actually go really well in my decor. And um, if you follow Megan, she actually took two of these and glued them together or two, you know, I don't know if it were these bowls per se, but it was definitely something similar to this. And um, she put wax in here and made a candle out of this. And that's what I want to do for my coffee table. I think it's going to be great. I think it's going to look really, really cool. Um, I could put red wax in it if I wanted to make it kind of holiday. You don't have to. But um, again, thought it was really cool. I'm not going to throw this in the box because I'm afraid the, the box of doom will... Um, We'll eat it alive. This is another glass item that I bought. It's right here. I'll just go through it. These great little jars, these like little canisters. They have this kind of vacuum seal on them, which is nice. Um, these are so good for leaving treats and stuff. We do something in our neighborhood at Christmas time called the um, uh, Jefferson Park Elf. And people will just leave little treats and things on your front porch. And um, there's an elf message that comes with it and you will um, just kind of go around and elf your other neighbors and this is such a fun thing to put you could spray paint the lid you know you can take this plastic lid off you could this plastic part off rather you could spray paint this and then you could put it back together you could cover it with some ribbon or some mod podge and i think that that could be a fun little treat jar so i did buy two of those so i can elf some of my neighbors and um the next bag. I have bags in front of me and I have bags next to me. I'm just going to try and work my way down um, and do this without rambling a whole lot. But they have these great clips. You've seen these probably before. I'm pretty sure these were from last year. And uh, these types of things are starting to ride. These are always fun to use on wreaths and, and anything really that you're decorating with. And they have a great clip on the back of them too, which is really cool. I bought buttons and I like these particular buttons because of the colors that were there. And I, I noticed a couple of them that were red and I was thinking, you know what, if I did like a really cute snowman or um, maybe like a Rudolph or something like that and I needed a red button or a red nose of some kind, I could do that. Now, I just, as I was saying, snowman and red nose. And of course I was like, no bonehead, you gotta use a carrot. So um, maybe I'll get lucky and there'll be some orange ones in there. But, um, and buttons are good to have just because I'm always losing a button on something. Um, all right, they have some cute Christmas stuff. They have some ornaments that are come, starting to come through. And again, this, this haul is not very organized. I apologize for that. Um, such cute ornaments. Check that out. How cute is that one? And it looks like, you know, we'll move the tag out of it, but it looks like two little Christmas tags. And it just says, Merry Christmas. And, you know, it's got that little hanger on it, perfect for your Christmas tree. But, you know, you could also very easily DIY that into something else. And when I saw this, I was like, well, they took my idea. But, again, super cute. They've got this version as well. And um, I just thought that they were adorable. Even if you break these apart, because you could do that. I'm going to do one right now. Look at that. Then you got two tags that you can make into something else if you want to. So, think outside the box. There's always something different. This was a cute little panda critter with a big slice of watermelon. 
He looks really, really happy, but he's gonna be turned into something else because I was thinking to myself, the shape is kind of cool and that could maybe lead to something. Are you seeing anything there? I'm kind of seeing something. I don't know if it's gonna work though. I have to, um, I have to count to figure out what it is. Um, being very secretive because I wanna, you know, I wanna, I wanna surprise you guys with some DIYs. <laughs> they have these galvanized stars in their packages of three, and I thought that they were super cute, and they would be fun to put on a tree. There's no holes or anything in them, but you could easily drill a little hole in there and hang them up. And that would just be really cute if you had a farmhouse tree. Or you could even hot glue some twine on the back of it and, and hang them up that way. If you had like a little farmhouse tree for Christmas, that could be really, really adorable. Uh, the other thing I wanted to get for Christmas were beads of silver and gold. Silver and gold. Because I was thinking of some like castles and different things and I like to do different things with ornaments so that's fun. I did buy two packages of each one of those um, because of Christmas and then also just because of my stash. Um, this is such a cute thing. Um, I was actually going to make something like this for a Christmas card holder that you could string across your mantle. If you've not seen this before at Dollar Tree, grab it. But it's really cute because it's a piece of twine and then it's got all of these clothespins on here and they are for clipping you know like cards or pictures but how cute could that be across your mantle if you wanted to do that oopsie I dropped something for um Christmas cards and I was thinking you can take the um the paper clips are not like sealed to the twine so you can take all the paper clips or the clothespins off of there and um what I like to do is take all my clothespins, I clip them to a piece of like scrap cardboard and then spray paint them or paint them with chalk paint. And so you could paint them all red or paint them all, you know, silver or gold and then have the twine and then use those to hang up your Christmas cards. And because this is only, um, it's like eight and a half feet, I bought two of them in case because um, I'm hoping to do like a Christmas card exchange or something like that this year with some of you guys. So, well, with all of you guys, well, maybe I got myself into trouble because that would be a lot of stamps, but we'll figure out something. Um, but <laughs> that is where the, um, I want to do the Christmas cards. And what's cool about this too, is that you may have noticed here, there are little suction cups on there as well. So you could stick this to like your refrigerator or to a window or something. I think it'd be even really cool to have like some of that stained glass print um, floral paper that I've seen out there. I've seen it at like Michael's and other places where it's kind of translucent and see-through and to make something really pretty and just hang it in the window like that maybe for springtime. Um, and then uh, I bought some medicine, just some, you know, tummy, tummy stuff we'll call it. And then twine because I'm always running out of twine and um, they have some twine at Dollar Tree. All right, let's get into the next one. This is more Christmas stuff. Um, this is just silly. We're wearing masks. I'm going to put this in front of my mask and wear this. Let's see if I can wear it on the airplane. See what happens there. Probably not going to go over well. <laughs> um, Christmas trees, these little bottle trees. I love these and those are great for working on little DIY scenes. You've seen those before, I know. This I thought was super, super cute. This package of reindeers. I've seen these before at Dollar Tree as well, but I have a specific idea for those that I thought would be fun. Um, these are, I have no idea what I'm going to do with them. I bought four packages of them. They are called um, bendy tubes and you can connect them all together and you can make like bracelets and all that. But I was thinking like DIY. I was thinking like I could make kind of a cool DIY with those, something sculptural. The red and green, at least these are, for Christmas time. So maybe I could even make a fun garland or something with them. You know, I don't know, but um, we're going to find out. And then uh, this bag has some pine cones in it. These are the, yeah, these are the cinnamon scented ones and I love those, but I'm gonna be using that for a specific project. And then uh, the rest of this bag, there's one, two, three, four, there's five of these bell ornaments. And um, I do have an intention for these with my um, Christmas DIYs that are gonna be coming up. So um, more to come there. <laughs> um, 
Let's see what else. Oh, that's the mask. What is this guy? Oh, this is some fall stuff. And you know, I'm, I'm already kind of working on Christmas stuff, but I saw these and I thought that they were great. And if you guys haven't seen them yet, check your stores because it seems like my fall stuff is arriving later than it typically does because I'm going in and I'm seeing more fall stuff arriving as the Christmas stuff is arriving. But um, they have almost these like, um, they kind of look like palettes. And uh, this particular one, trying to get the tag out of the way, is a pumpkin shape and it is on a burlap cord or a little piece of twine there so you can hang it. How cute are those for welcome signs or something? And then they have a leaf and then they also have an acorn. But again, super, super cute. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do anything with them this year or not, but they may end up in the stash for next year. Now, I am going to be doing my um, Christmas gift box or gift uh, basket ideas video again for you guys this year. And I did buy a couple things to kind of start that process because it, it does take a while to kind of pull all that together for you guys. And um, the great thing is I always get to use them and give them to people. So this is part of my probably neighborhood gifting thing that I'll be doing. But I thought for a pet lover, this could be super cute. Fill that up with some goodies. If you've got a movie buff, that could also be super cute. But remember, this is also plastic, so is this. You can spray paint these, make them another color if you want to. But um, those will be part of my um, DIY for Christmas stuff. I bought a tray also. This particular tray came from the Dollar Tree Plus side of my Dollar Tree. It's two aisles within Dollar Tree. Um, it was five bucks. And uh, this is a great coffee table tray. I have several different trays. Uh, my mom, it's funny, my mom also has a lot of trays and things, and I, I love coffee table stuff too. I guess I get it from my mommy. But um, great tray, you could paint it up, you could put something in the bottom of this and then recover it with something else. Lots of really, really good options there. Um, these are Halloween, but I am going to be using them for a Christmas DIY, these ghosts. Um, they're cute because they've got these arms in them that make them, you know, kind of, woo. I am going to put these on the porch and we'll use these for Christmas. We, I may notice, we'll use these for Christmas decor. And then, um, I will have these, um, converted into something very special for Christmas. So more to come there. Okay. Um, I've got a lot to go through calendar. I love these calendars, these month at a glance calendars. I'm going to put it on my desk over there. They keep my life organized. They're great. I have found so many different wood pieces, just random, like it's almost like scrap wood at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to try and just put them all aside here and go through those all at once because I'm finding a lot of really cool shapes. And, um, because I did find so many of them, I want to just kind of uh, review them with you guys all at once. I'll go through some of the Crafter Square stuff, though, because some of that is pretty easy. If you have seen um, Courtney from Creative on the Cheap in her latest video, she has a Rudolph-themed video. I think it's called Movie Mondays, Holiday Movie Mondays, or something that she's doing. And she had a Christmas um, DIY video that was released with some... Um, uh, Rudolph themed items and she created some signs with these directional arrows from Dollar Tree and it gave me an idea to do something kind of similar but props to Courtney because she's the inspiration behind it so that is why I grabbed two, excuse me two of those I'm very burpy I had a ginger ale before doing this and I probably didn't have to do that um <laughs> letters you do not have a Cricut, if you do not have a Silhouette, if you don't have any kind of cutting machine, these types of letters are great. And they've got them in the red, they've got them in green. I think I bought them in red and green actually. And um, I do have a Cricut, but sometimes I don't wanna pull out the Cricut and do all that stuff. So I just wanna do something simple. These are really, really great to have. And they're great to have just all year long in your stash, honestly, because you can't really go wrong with those. Um, oh, look at me, bought some socks. I bought a lot of socks, actually. I have, like, probably four or five more pairs. These are um, kind of in the fall. There's these little mini hay bales, but I have a manger scene. That's like a DIY manger that I'm going to be doing, and I want to put some of these hay bales in there, so that is why I grabbed those. 
Um, this is actually for a DIY. Um, I was inspired by Indy Annie Jones. If you have not seen her, she has a um, like a headband costumes Halloween video that went out. And um, she created some of the most amazing headpieces and crowns and just awesome stuff she should she should be like a costumer in the theater or in hollywood or something but um she used a mirror like this and created a headpiece with it and it gave me an inspiration for part of my christmas idea that i want to do possibly with those ghost characters so more to come there and uh shout out to my friend indiana jones for for um giving me the inspiration on that okay um great ball if you've seen these kind of fluted candy jars, this is all one piece, which is nice. And um, again, these are great. You can paint these up. You can put plants in them. I've seen succulent gardens made out of them. I've made succulent gardens out of these before. You can fill it up with rocks. You can fill it up with, um, you know, sand. You can do all kinds of fun stuff with these. And these are great, like, for terrariums and stuff, but also they're great for serving and putting candy in them and um it's plastic it was a buck great to have on hand um another thing you want to remember is your receipts i have several bags here so i'm gonna have several receipts and remember we save our receipts because we scan them into an app called fetch rewards if you're not familiar with fetch rewards every time you go shopping scan your receipt into fetch rewards and you earn points for doing that. And then you can take those points and redeem them for gift cards. Um, Target, Amazon, Walmart, even Visa gift cards. You can do all kinds of stuff with those fetch reward points. So definitely do it. I've got a link in the description box below to check out. So do it, trust me, do it. And when you do scan and use my, or when you uh, use the link below, that has my code in it and you'll automatically get 2000 points in your bank on Fetch Rewards that you can then use to redeem for future purchases. So it definitely is worth it. Believe me, I've I've uh, I've enjoyed the fruits of uh, the Fetch Rewards. <laughs> All right, uh, great pet bowl, right? This is so cute. It's like buffalo check, it's plaid. This is a little too big of a bowl for Mr. Otis, but I was thinking, pairing this up with that other pet container thing. And this could be a cute little gift basket. Fill it up with some pet toys, maybe some little snacks or something for doggies. And then you've got a really cute kind of a, um, you know, gift that you can give to somebody. These were brand new and I'm gonna save them for a second because I'm trying to get through all of the, the non, sorry, I'm jumping out of frame there. I'm trying to get through the non, Christmas stuff. Ew, what's going on in here? I have a leak. Well, that's not very fun. Oh, I know what that was from. Okay, I got a mess here. Um, so I have some hay bales that are in here, but unfortunately the hay bales are all covered with soap because my, um, and it's so funny because I pulled them out earlier. I'm going to put that aside so I can wash off my, let me just use my pants here. Um, these are what busted open. Now these are not Christmas, but I saw these and again, saw them after the fact. They're too cute to pass up. I had to get them. They're soap dispensers. This one is a cute little ghost. It's got hand soap in it and the skull, that's the one that busted open. But um, again, kind of cute. This one's going to go in the bathroom. This one I think is going to go in the kitchen. And I honestly think I'm going to refill this and keep this in the kitchen all the time because my kitchen is like black and white. And um, I don't know, something manly about the skull. I don't know why I'm thinking I can pull that off, but uh, we'll see. Um, <laughs> the other thing I grabbed were two of these white Christmas trees. Um, I've seen the green ones before. I've not seen the white ones before. Um, these are super, super, super thin heads up. So if you do buy these, you'll want to buy more than one. And what I do is I will buy two of them and I twine them together. And then I use the um, base for one of them. And depending on how you cut it and trim it, you can do that. Or once you twine two of them together, 
and you keep the trunk really thick, just put it inside of another pot or something and you can totally get away with it. Um, the other thing that I thought was super cute about these is because parked right next to them are the new galvanized metal Christmas tree covers. How cute is that? And this has the stand on it, you know, that spreads out. So this will cover it up. And um, they had the red one and then they had the, um, they had the red one. And then they had the galvanized metal one that says farm fresh Christmas tree. And then this one I think said the same thing. Oh no, nope, that one says Merry Christmas. So how cute are those gonna be with these? And I have a couple of these trees already from last year in the green. So I was thinking I could do the red and white and maybe do with this, you know, thing here. And, um, you know, speaking of, if you had the two that you had to put together and you were going to um, have that thicker trunk base, you could easily take a piece of scrap wood or something heavy, um, maybe even do like a concrete mixture and put it in that and then have it down below this to hide it. And that would totally keep this stand up. So that's, um, that's just another thought for you. But I was so excited to find that one. Um, and I think I'm going to do like little trees in my bedroom as well, or at least one, one tree. Because I like to sleep with the Christmas lights on. And uh, I always do that with battery lights, by the way. That way, you know, won't burn my house down. Shaving cream. Barbersol. I love shaving cream. I'm getting ready to go on a trip. Um, as a matter of fact, by the time you guys see this video, I will either be on the trip or I will be um, just getting back from the trip. So um, I'm... I'm meeting a bunch of friends. We'll just say that. Um, the other things that I grabbed at this bag, they, they tied up really tight. So um, this is super cute. They are red and white striped um, st straws. And um, I think that these are going to be really fun to use for some Christmas DIYs. I could see these being used in the background of something. So... Um, more to come there. Another great little Christmas thing that could be fun for little treats are these little plastic jars. They're plastic. They look like they're glass, but they're not. And again, just a cute little treat thing. Um, they have these red candles. Now, remember what I was saying about the bowl thing that Megan did. Now, if I wanted to melt down two of these red candles, um, Sarah Jane, also from Chic on the Cheap, she has done this before. And um, you melt down these in a pot of boiling water and then you pour the wax into whatever vessel you're gonna do. And if you have the candle wicks, you you know put those in ahead of time and you can make something that's very Christmassy. And um, I was thinking they smelled like cinnamon, but they don't. Um, <laughs> so that could be something that could be done and easily made for Christmas. Um, great. Great Christmas lights, just battery operated string lights. I'd love to use those for a lot of different things. They had some wonderful kind of fall scented candles, but I'm okay. There's another package of the straws. Um, I'm okay with the fall scents. I like the fall scents, even when it's not fall. And um, this flavor or this scent is called Harvest and Hay Rides. And, um, it smells kind of like apple cinnamon to me. I think they just called it something else to, to do it. But these are great, especially for the holidays. The color is perfect. And it smells like cinnamon, so it's not going to be, you know, too Christmassy. This is probably more of a... Ooh. I don't think I like that. This one my mom would like, though, because she likes those sweet, like, caramel -y, like, coffee kind of scented candles. This is called Harvest or I'm sorry, toasted marshmallows. And um, I like the color, but I don't like the scent too much. So those might go in mom's stocking. Um, <laughs> the other thing I had grabbed, which was so cute, and I immediately thought about making it into a candle. How cute is that? It's like a little camper. It's like a little camper, a coffee mug. How cute is that? I freaking loved it. Um, another great item for fall. How cute is that? Happy fall. Um, my friends that I'm going to be traveling with very soon, um, 
I might take this with me to just have some coffee and stuff while we're hanging out. And uh, that will be a lot of fun. This is also some socks. Christmas socks starting to show up. Some ho-ho-hos. And I thought that those were a lot of fun. And I needed to have those. Um, snow. Faux snow. Have to do those for a DIY project. All right. I am trying to move on. Oh, this is a big bag. And this is will be this little easy one. So I did buy three of these. So I wanted new canisters for my kitchen. I love the fact that these are really big. These are clear, obviously. What I was gonna say is that these are plastic. <laughs> and, um, but if you spray paint these, they could be so cute. Hopefully this sticker is not the sticker of doom that is typically on a lot of Dollar Tree stuff. It feels like it is. Um, no, it's coming off. Okay, yep, it's coming off. All right, we're winning, we're winning. Um, but again, super, super cute. This lid is taped on here right now, so that'll come off. You could, I mean, if you wanted to show your sugar or flour or whatever you wanted to put in here, but I'm thinking for my K-Cups, it's a huge container, it's bigger, and I did buy it, three of those. Um, I went to this really random Dollar Tree that I had never been to before. I'm trying to see if the receipt was in there. And um, they, it was, it was trash, first of all, it was horrible. But they did have, um, they did have a few things in there, so it wasn't a, it wasn't a total loss. Um, more Christmas stuff. Great, cute cutouts. Some of these you saw last year, the Let It Snow. Super fun. Um, great, just Christmas tree one. Loved that. And um, again, um, this is a glass piece. Just a simple vase. It's fluted. It's got this great color tone to it. But I was thinking I could paint this, honestly. And again, probably paint it like a metallic or something. But the metallics seem to be very um, prominent in my home. I like those as the accent pieces and colors. So I got those. Um, speaking of string lights, again, they had some of the LED string lights that, you know, you typically find, but these are multicolored. How cute are those? So I did grab three of those. As you guys know, my fireplace has the um, kind of, uh, it's not a faux fire. Well, it's a real fireplace, but it's just not properly. Um, I need to, I need to fix a bunch of stuff on it. And um, it's, it's not a bunch of stuff. It's just expensive. But um, anyway, I have fake logs in there and I wrap Christmas lights around them or something like that to give me the effect of a fire. They have these great trinket trays and they have like five or six different sayings and this particular one, excuse me again, this one says, you are powerful, beautiful, brilliant, and brave. And I thought just on top of my dresser, that would be a cute little landing pad for, um, you know, my watch, my ring, if I happen to be wearing one that day, a bracelet, it could be even be for my wallet. And um, I'm not gonna put that one in the box of doom because then I'll never find it again. And um, I wanna be able to get that. I snagged this because truly I grabbed this for Valentine's Day. It's a wood cut out, wood sign, heart shaped, knew I could use it for something for Valentine's Day. So, um, that's the only reason why I grabbed it this time, because even though, um, you know, it's like October, we're still thinking about like, all right, February, January, what's coming up? So at least my brain is. Um, that's a big bag of a lot of holiday stuff. We'll do that one next. This is holiday stuff. I'm trying to get through a lot of this other stuff before. Um, this is predominantly holiday. I told you I had a lot of bags. <laughs> Didn't like this. Um, and then that's holiday, and I think we're in a good place. Okay, and that's holiday, and that's a lot of wood pieces. I swear I could do a haul that is just devoted to all of the wood pieces that I found at Crafter Square. And I found one thing that is so freaking cute. Oh my gosh, I am dying. Okay, um, more string lights. I'm gonna have more string lights than I need, but um, how cute are those? They're like tube lights and they look like candy canes. And um, they are um, 3.6 feet in total length and three feet lighted length. So that's a pretty good size, especially for a DIY. And um, I do have an idea for those. Um, these, are typically that you would just find them in like summertime. That's when I found them the last time, but they did have these as well. 
these cones and um you know there i bought two of them that were the taller size and then there's one that is that size i know this is hard to see with all the stuff but um it's just a cone and um I mean, think about it. They look like trees. There's so many fun things you can do with these. So um, I snagged those as soon as I saw them because I knew that they'd be great for a DIY project. Um, <laughs> new ornaments. I've not seen these before. These um, like antlers and they had them in the white. They had them in gold. They had them in silver. I think that was the only three colors. I grabbed them in the white because that I definitely wanted to use. And then the gold, I thought that they could be fun. They'd be fun for, and there's a, there's six of them, by the way, in each one of these packages. Um, I mean, they could be fun in wreaths. They could be fun in arrangements. You could take a skewer and skewer the end of it and create, you know, floral picks with them. There's a lot of fun stuff that you can do with those. And there's a lot of really cool, you know, um, options. I made a antler bowl with some larger antler ornaments that um, is in my latest uh, DIY compilation video from last year. So, you know, definitely check it out. Okay, this video is going to be so long. Um, bah, 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 bah. If you're still with me at the halfway point, put a comment down below that says halfway here still. And uh, I appreciate it again so much. Um, this is a great thing that I saw at Crafter Square. It's a tear off palette and um it you know it, it's got the the little finger hole in here but you basically have sheets of paper that you can use for painting and think about it all of us are crafters and we've got stuff going on that's a great great tool to have i bought this sign because i thought that it would be perfect for a holiday sign idea that i have and uh, you know these dollar tree signs are great you can always use the back side because it's plain cardboard it's always fun to do um, this, uh, were some new Dollar Tree signs that I'd seen before. Their signs are really stepping it up lately. Like this has a backing that you can take off and it's got the hanger. But again, how cute could those be to, for DIYs? I mean, you could literally frame anything you wanted in there. You could paint them different colors. And, um, I snagged them and thought that they were fun. Foam Christmas trees, fun to decor and decorate with, to decor with. Don't know where that came from. Um, <laughs> the other thing I grabbed was this cute little gingerbread house kind of looking thing. And um, I thought it was missing the door, but I don't know. But anyway, that's it. I thought it was cute. Definitely have an idea for that. Uh, I'm doing some traveling again, so I bought one of these things because... I got my pills. I gotta take my pills. Um, the other things that I grabbed, and this was for travel as well, and then I thought that these would be fun also for the um, gift baskets that I'm going to be doing, but they're under eye mask and lip mask, and um, I bought two of those, one to take with me on the trip, and um, that's a, just a kind of a piece of card cardboard a piece of uh, crafter square wood that um, I always pick up one of those. They're always super handy. This is a holiday sign that I picked up. It's so cute. It looks like a little um, kind of a beat up mason jar. And um, how cute is that? Super, super cute. Loved the way that this looked. Um, they had a couple different kinds. I have just one idea for that that I want to do. So, um, I mean, how can I go wrong? Okay. I feel like I'm going really, really long here. Okay. Speaking of really cute soap dispensers. Um, I found Christmas tree and it's already got hand soap in it and Santa. There was also a gingerbread man and there was a snowman. I have one bathroom and one kitchen, so I only needed one of each, but how cute are those? Super, super cute. The Christmas tree was my favorite. It kind of reminded me of like a Dr. Seuss Christmas tree, you know, and like, um, how the Grinch stole Christmas. And of course you gotta have Santa. So when the um, when the skeleton and the, um, uh, what is it, the ghost are done for the Halloween season, then I'll switch over to those. Um, this was super cute. I thought this could be my cookies for Santa tray. They had this whole set and it says gather together 
How cute is this? They have it in the larger plates. They have it in the smaller ones. I only bought it in this size because that, that's the only one that I really need. I have very like basic white dishes in my kitchen and that's kind of what I use all year long. So that's what I wanted. Um, this monogram mug is something that's brand new at Dollar Tree. I've not seen those before. And uh, I could not find a J, but I found an L and my mom's name is Lola. So I thought she would like that. So I grabbed that for her and to show you guys. So, so, so cute. Um, their dishes are really stepping it up. I've seen some people sharing dishes before that were, um, that are like these, um, what are they? They're kind of like these, um, like snowflakes and different things like that. And um, they were cute. Um, I have one thing in my hand here that I'm gonna slide under the camera because it was, it's something really fun. Um, Dollar Tree florals, some of these they've had before. These were left, you know, like last year leftovers. These fun picks and things. These are great for wreaths. That, that's all what this is. There's nothing, there's nothing that's brand new. It's that branch that gets glitter all over you. And then like these types of things. And um, those are really fun. I've just bought like five of those. And then, um, all right, now we've got, now we've got the big bags. Okay. Um, I freaked out. I absolutely freaked out when I saw these. Y'all aren't gonna be ready. How cute! How cute are these little galvanized trays? How cute are those? I did buy four of them. There were a whole bunch there though, so I didn't don't don't accuse me of taking them all. But I mean, come on. They could be just so cute as is. They would be so cute in the office. So cute for storage. Like, you could make stuff out of these. You could make a, you know, you could just make stuff with them. <laughs> I freaked out when I saw these. I was so excited. And then they had one that was also like this, except for instead of it being oval here, it was a star. How cute are these little trays? They look like little tiny baking trays. They're not baking trays. These are for Crafter Square. But, uh, I mean, come on, how cute. Um, all right, big, big bag now. And we'll go rapid fire. Um, a star wreath form. I have not seen that before. Um, this one I grabbed and um, I'm gonna be using it for a holiday decor, I think. But um, leaf, how cute. I did buy two of them because I was thinking, look, wings. Maybe, I don't know. But um, again, even if I don't use them for that, they'd be great to have on hand for next year. I'm curious, um, I, I'm curious if you guys have any video recommendations for me, if anybody that you saw that actually used some of these in some holiday decor, I would love for you to link them in the description box below and let me know who they are because I've not seen anybody really do anything with those and I would love to, um, get some inspiration from them. Um, cute, 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 cute ornaments. Um, they had these skis. Aren't those adorable? I'm just gonna put these on my tree. I'm not even gonna DIY with them. But um, like they just say like ski lift and they've got the little skis and then there's the white ones. So cute. I swear I could decorate my house every year with Dollar Tree ornaments and never like, all right, this sign, how cute is that sign? This is a sturdy sign. This is like, this is a sign. And the gnome on there, actually, you could cut, or, you know, you could probably take a screwdriver and pop it off of there. I bet I could even pop them off of there right now. Yep, I could. Um, I'm not going to, though, because I don't want to break it. But you could take the gnome off of there. You could incorporate the gnome into anything. This is a great sign by itself. You could repaint this. You could redo this. Such a great shape, blank, blank side on the back there. Love it, love it, love it. All right, they have these felt kind of critter creator things. And um, this package will make those two guys. And then this package will make those two guys. Even if you don't want to make those guys, how fun would this be just to have in your stash for extra pieces of felt or extra, you know, googly eyes or things that you might need. That, again, something that's super, super duper fun. Um, bought some socks. I bought some socks to wear with my friends 
And um, it's funny, I think Jennifer from like Little Bit of Calm and Crazy always makes fun of me with my socks. Um, and then uh, Bargain Bethany, I think, has said something to me about my socks before. But you saw the ho ho ho, you saw the stripes. And then I love blue, so of course I'm gonna buy the blue stripes. And then I saw these, and of course I'm gonna buy them because they're blue. And then these, how cute are those? With the harvest and the trucks and the pumpkins. And these with the skeletons. These are the lady socks, but I'm telling you, if you're a guy and you have a size 12 foot, and these are the five to nine knee highs, if you buy these, they will fit you and they will just go up to your like mid calf, which is the same as those. So don't overlook the lady socks if you see a, lock, a sock that you think is super cute. And I knew that I had to have those um, because I think I'm addicted to socks. All right, um, some more things. Bought a spray bottle, cause I need one in the laundry room. So that's gonna go, well, I'll just put it, the, the bin is getting full by the way. Um, the other thing I grabbed were these cute unicorn stickers. I have no freaking idea what I'm gonna do with these, but how cute are those? They're like puffy. And um, I may just end up putting them like on a bulletin board or something in my office. I don't know, just to, just to make me happy. Another cute wood sign, something that you could totally redo. And uh, just a cute piece of twine around there. Cute little like snow globe-esque kind of a thing. Look at it from the backside. Are you seeing anything that it could be? Fun stuff. You could put a family photo in there. That would be really cute. You could do more stuff. Oh look, more socks. Sugar skulls. Um, again, wearing them out this weekend. Um, this is this is like a lot of like. Oh, those are really cute. Okay, I'm gonna slide those out. I'm telling you, I have so much Crafter Square stuff to show with you guys that like it is ridiculous. Now, some of this is like some of my kitchen staple stuff that I buy. So um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna share share with those because I. By the time you see this video, you've already seen the kitchen staples video. And, um, but how cute is this thing? This is a cell phone holder, or it also works on an iPad, but it's got like thumbs up. So see like here when he holds it. So like if you're watching, like sometimes I'll be watching TikTok and when I'm laying in bed and I need something to prop my phone up. So <laughs> I just thought it was silly and fun, but, um, yeah, I just thought it was silly and fun. This, these cute little signs are so cute by themselves. Dream, what's it say? Dream without fear. And then this one says inspire. But this particular thing I saw and knew what I was going to do with this for a DIY for holidays. This one, I was thinking Christmas tree, you know, maybe put a little square block or something underneath it. Um, you could Gosh, you could probably even have some fun and try and connect them or something. But anyway, those are going to be some fun DIY projects. Okay. Um, now, we're finally at the Crafter Square stuff. Y'all, they have so much cute stuff. I died when I saw these. They're like little cutting boards. How cute. They're like little baby cutting boards. These, I freaked out at. You could glue them together that if you wanted to you could do something with them so so cute so many fun ideas you could do you could drill a hole in the top of them put some twine in it make a little hanging thing i wish they weren't so thick but again i think that they're adorable they kind of look like paintbrushes too you could make like a, a faux paintbrush of some kind if you wanted to um the other things that i grabbed and again, I'm trying to grab them all at the same time. Uh, there's one more, yeah. They have the house shapes at Crafter Square. How cute are these? Oh my God. If, I, I do wish that they were all different sizes, but think about it. Put them all together like that, make a little Christmas sign with them, make a little village have all kinds of fun stuff with them so those are super 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 cute i'm gonna actually take a picture of those on on the, for the instagram all right um some of these are stuck together because of the bags that fell apart but um i'm actually not going to show every single i'll show you every single size 
but I'm not gonna. So let's see, let's see, let's see. Please help. Um, <laughs> I bought multiple of all of these sizes because um, they're so versatile and super, super useful. I think I've got just about everything here now. And when I saw these, I was kind of surprised that Dollar Tree was carrying them. And at first I was like, I'm not gonna buy those because those seem kind of silly, but they have some really cute miscellaneous wood pieces. And for crafting, like this is kind of fun, especially if you don't have access to like a scrap wood pile or something. All right, so they have this size here, which is just a small kind of square. It's about the size of a coaster, which is super cute in itself. Um, and then they also have this smaller kind of thicker like uh, piece here could be cute for a sign. Then they have one that's a little bit taller. See that? And then they have one that's kind of in the middle that is like, or yeah, it would be in the middle of those first two. Super cute, right? Lots of fun versatility. I bought four of each of these. So um, there's, a, there's a method to my madness when I was doing it. And then they have some thinner pieces as well. And um, they have this, which is almost kind of like, if, gosh, it's, it's almost like chair rail or something or uh, crown molding, but it's this kind of size. And then they have this size. And then they have this, which is great for a Dollar Tree sign. And they're all about the same thickness. So that gives you an idea there. Super, super cute. So many fun shapes. And then, um, I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. Because these are all just the same ones that I just showed you. So, um, is this a bag? Oh yeah, this is a bag. <laughs> oh yeah, they had these too. Okay. Ooh, glad that I saw these. Um, then they also had these, which I thought were adorable. How cute are those for some sort of sign or something? And, um, uh, you know, they're just fun pieces. You could take these off of the strings and um, string them all together and make one long sign. There's so many fun things that you can do with those. And then these Christmas um, kind of scenes. So they look like regular wood on this side, but look at that. How pretty is that? I'm not very good at painting some of these things, but I think my sister could do it for me. <laughs> and then they had this real cute one with the truck and the vines. How cute is that? That doesn't even have to be for holiday. Snag that right now and save that. You could paint these green, make this like springtime, put some stuff in the back of the truck. And then they had this one, which was kind of like a, kind of reminded me of like a gingerbread house. And that is the haul, right? I know that this was a really long video. So if you're still with me, say, I'm with you. And in the comments below, let me know too what your favorites were and what you're finding at your Dollar Tree. All right, guys, thank you so much. Bye.